Hi Stampers, this is Kathy from Ladies Stamp A Lot. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Chesapeake, Virginia. And today I wanted to show you 12 cards that I made using the Cactus Cuties Bundle. This is a stamp set that's in the January to June 2022 mini catalog from Stampin' Up! Um, but we're at the end of the selling period and this will be retiring at the end of June. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you like what you see, you want to go ahead and grab this set. It's a photo polymer set um, with 14 stamps. It has a coordinating punch. The punch um, will punch out this cactus and this piece that goes with it. And then it also punches out the um, pot and then it will punch out the flower. So the punch and the stamp set, if you buy them together, you save 10% and it's only $31.50 for both of them. The punch will be 10% off if you buy it by itself uh, beginning June 1st. And again, these product, product products are um, only gonna be available while supplies last because we're at the end of the selling period. Now, I paired my projects with a pack of paper that's in the new annual catalog, and it's called Design of Daydream. This is a host-only pack of paper. I did cut it up. It comes 12 by 12. You get four each of 12 designs, double-sided, so it's really 24 patterns, um, I just cut it up into six by six to show you. Again, this is a host only pack of paper. So if you wanna um, host an event, a workshop or a class where you would earn the rewards, you could choose this or you could um, purchase um, a minimum of $150 and you start earning rewards. And you could also choose this as your hostess set. So the colors in this paper are Blackberry Bliss. Let me show you the backs, which are mostly the um, solid looking patterns. We have Blackberry Bliss, Daffodil Delight, Mint Macaron, Old Olive, Petal Pink, and Pool Party. So I used this paper and these colors to make my cards. And um, I'm going to show you and see what you think. So I used, um, I made two of each um, color. I used the color uh, cardstock, coordinating cardstock colors to make the cards. And these are made with a combination of the stamp, the punches, and some I did fussy cut out. This one, um, you must fussy cut out. It's very easy. These are even easy to fussy cut out without the punch. This one's a little bit more tricky, but not hard at all. Um, and then these two pots, of course, you'd have to fussy cut. This one you can punch out. So this is just a um, all punched pieces, stamped and punched. And I did a little texture on the background there. It's just rectangles. Really, really simple, but really, really cute. The hello is from the stamp set. And then this one is all stamping. And um, just pop that up, the saying up on a little um, piece of the cardstock that coordinates there. Okay, now this one, I used the same layout, but just um, changed the colors of the cactus a little bit and added a piece of designer series paper as an additional layer there in the back. And this I did add in these little extra flowers or cactus pieces, whatever they are, just so I would use every stamp in the set for these cards. Again, these are all stamped and either cut out or punched out. And then I just glued them back down either with glue dots or with dimensional. So it has a varying depths and um, in real life, it really looks really, really nice. Here's another one with the um, old olive base. I use designer series paper here. I used one of the stitch rectangles. This is a greeting from another stamp set. I just wanted to make something um, different besides what the uh, sayings are in the stamp set. And then I added some lemon thread there around that pot. Okay, these are the petal pink ones. 
Um, this one I used the tag, the tailor-made tag dies. Really nice set to have. You can always use an accent as an accent on your card. Um, this one in the background is stamped onto the white, and then these little ones are popped up, and the little flowers are just added with the glue dot, and then these are um, stamped and uh, cut out and just tucked in there, and then this is cut out, piece of designer series paper on the back, and some ribbon in the little um, baker's twine there. And then again, just the designer series paper. Um, this is the new stylish shapes. The circle here is the new stitched shapes, but they also coordinate with the um, layering circles. I used the scallop and it coordinates with those nicely. So they've been around for a while and they do work well together. Um, you can see I added the little butterfly embellishments over here. They're carrying over. They are in the mini. They're carrying over to the annual. And then this, I just fussy cut two of that plant, stuck it in the pot there. I just love these um, different cards. Now, here are the ones I made using the, the uh, pool party. Again, there's that stitched circle. I stamped the cactus, but the pot is um, cut out. I added the little sea glass there as an embellishment and some baker's twine. And then this greeting, I um, made this little tag using the, um, I forget what this is called, but it, it makes two different kinds of um, ends to your labels. So this is one I use that points in and then this one, if you can see it, points out and it can do various sizes. So it's a really versatile punch to finish off any kind of like little label that you put on your card. And then here's a very simple one. This is just all stamping. I stamped the cactus, I stamped the pot, I stamped the words over the pot and a little designer paper and just uh, rectangles using my paper trimmer and I was done with that one. Now here's the Blackberry Bliss cards. Um, this side is all stamped and then this side is stamped and popped up to give it a little bit more dimension. Now, I wanted to point out these really cute pebble shapes are also retiring. I love these. They're um, on sale 30% off. They're now $5.25. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to have all these products linked to this video. Um, again, while supplies last through the end of June 2022, uh, I just think that really, really looks cute there. And then here's another one with the uh, Blackberry Bliss, where I just took two of the designer series papers um, for the background. And then I used the, I think it's called Scallop Contours dies. Instead of just a straight rectangle, I used the die to get that uh, little scalloped edge. But the, the um, image is completely stamping. Stamped the big one, then stamped the little ones. And because they're clear, it's really easy to see and get them right where you want them. And then I added a little of uh, the baker's twine. And what's nice about this baker's twine is you get five different colors in one pack. So you have a lot of options of adding twine to your projects okay and then the last ones are the mint macaron this is sort of a fancy fold it's a split front i guess you would say and i would call this my um oh what do you call it when it's all the same color and it's um stamped and cut out or punched out i don't know if you can tell but for the pots i used cardstock and i embossed the cardstock and then this is actually the piece that's supposed to be the cactus and i just turned it upside down to make a pot and i thought that was a different way of doing it and then a little bit of um baker's twine there and i did add some little white embellishments on this card monochromatic that's the word i was looking for so this is all done in the mint macaron and soft succulent shades and then the last one is again it's a split front and i just made all the pots 
Some are stamped directly onto the card and then some are popped up and I used various shades of green to stamp the um, cactus. Some are stamped, some are popped up. So I just thought that made a really interesting looking card. And what I did when I made my cards is I took all the green, Stamping Up has so many nice greens, and I just stamped it in all the different colors. And then I um, could use this as a guide when I was putting my cards together to see which shade of green I thought I wanted in my um, plants because I didn't want them all the same in these cards. So you can see some are old olives, some are succulents, some are mint macaron. And I just think that that makes it really interesting. So there you have it again. It's the Cactus Cuties stamp set or bundle only available while supplies last. Um, if you're interested, you can go to my online store or you can email me or message me and I'd be happy to help you. Okay, thanks for stopping by. I hope you give them a try.